Peter, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Julie. I, I'm, I'm warming up for my video. Your video? Yeah. Who told you you were going to make a video? Uh, one of the producers. Which producer? Uh, Sheldon. Peter, there's no producer on this show named Sheldon. Hi, I'm Julia Duffy. And I'm Peter Scolari. Welcome to Friday Night Videos, where Peter won't be juggling. I'll, I'll, I'll just be hosting. I, well, I could juggle now. Watch this one. That's enough, Peter. Welcome to the show. Tonight on Friday Night Videos, your hosts from the New Heart Show are Julia Duffy and Peter Scalari. We'll have videos from Michael McDonald, Madonna, Peter Cetera, Jermaine Stewart, Belinda Carlisle, Banana Rama, the theme from Top Gun by Berlin, and Jeffrey Osborne. And now, New Hearts, Julia Duffy and Peter Scolari. People are asking, they don't care about me when they come up to me. They always want to know about you. Oh, Peter, you don't have to say Is that. it true? Or am I, am I making this up here? I don't, I don't think so. All the, all the crew here today asked me about you. Did they? Yeah. Cameraman said, uh, nice to meet you. What's Julia really like? And uh, what are you really like? Well, Peter, I think you probably know that better than anyone, what I'm really like. This woman is, is a doll. She is a dream to work with and to be with and to have uh, an angel, illicit affair with. The natural successor to Carol Lombard. The natural successor to Carol Lombard, in my opinion. And uh, I'm not alone in that. Incredibly down to earth, for somebody, down to earth for somebody in the entertainment industry. But it's for someone of her talent. And for someone of her great real. talent, she's very real and very special. <laughs> and that's what America is to me. We all stammer on the show, a kind of thing we take home after, after spending a and, week with and we Rob. blink a lot, too. Bob blinking, yeah. My, my wife will say, I was work today, and I'll go, it, 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 it was fine, honey. <laughs> Do you have that problem? Do you take uh, Mr. Newhart home with you at all? Uh, or what does your husband think of it when you do? <laughs> Honey, no. I brought Bob home again. No, no, I don't have that problem. Uh -huh. I do come home juggling sometimes because <laughs> working Guess with it. you. Peter, why do you think that Michael puts up with Stephanie and, and all of the garbage that she gives him? Well, the easy answer is that, that he, just, he just loves you so deeply. I mean, he can't, he, he couldn't imagine, to quote a line from last year, lip syncing to West Side Story without his Maria. Yes. These are strange people. Right. But I but think... But what we... I think what we want here really probably is, is the dirty answer. All right. Well, I'll get to the dirty answer okay. after I, I... All actors have to work with kind of a key, a kind of a through line. It has to be organic. A, a motivation, something really concrete that you can hold on to. Right. And you have to be and, paid a certain amount. And you have to be paid. But the thing that I really hold on to for, for Michael, Stephanie, how Michael can continue to feel the way he does, is that they were... As you'll recall, this is kind of a subtext of our, our playing on the show, that we were once at this well-known department store in the East, and we both saw the, these shrimp forks at the same time and, and realized that we had to have them. And there's that, something about that mutual admiration of, of a very special shrimp fork that I think is something I've held on to for now two and a half years. And that's what keeps me really... Uh, as an actor and both playing the character, very, very, feel very close to you. Or the shrimp forks. The shrimp forks. Well, the folks at home may think that that's, that's a the dirty answer for something, but he really means <laughs> no, the shrimp, shrimp, you know, forks. the little, yeah, the little. It was in the script. With the little prongs. <laughs> Well, Peter, I'm glad you asked that. Actually, I went to New York to become a waitress uh -huh. at Shrek. Did you succeed at that? I was very lucky. I got the first job that I applied for. Uh -huh. I, I was a cocktail waitress at Schraff's. Uh -huh. uh, but after that, that particular Schraff's closed, the one on 68th and 3rd, and waitress work became harder and harder to find. And I felt that I needed to have something else that I could do as a backup. And so I started to go to acting school, and it's a good thing I did because it has been hard to find uh, waitressing jobs. Since then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think if you, if you went back out and you, you made the, the rounds that you could get back into the well, restaurant world? you know, now I don't, I don't know if I have it in me anymore. I'm not as yeah. young as I was then. And it's demanding It's work. probably easier just to stick with acting, even though it is my second choice. But I was shocked uh, 
to see Bob uh, up close in person, people think of him as a, he's, you know, maybe 5'6", five, 5'8", five, about 150 pounds, kind of, you know, kind of stoop-shouldered. And he's actually, I'd say 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, <laughs> he's about 190 pounds. He's got a chest yeah. like Schwarzenegger. He's uh, got hair like Tom Selleck. Tremendous. And they actually, you know, they pull it all back and give him this slightly balding look on the show, but, you know, slightly receding. But uh, it's a skull cap and it's a whole technique. It's an amazing characterization. He, when I first saw him, I, I had to do a double take and say, is that Bob, Bob Newhart or Bob, Bob Seeger the Olympic gold medalist, the pole vaulter? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it yeah. turned out that it was Bob Newhart. Peter, when you first read the part of Michael, what did you think? Did you have an immediate uh, reaction to this? Did you think this was a great character? I was worried when I first started playing Michael because I thought, this is going to get me in trouble. I had some, some kind of uh, recognizability based on the work I had done earlier as a nice guy, um, as, a, as a sincere character to be trusted. And all of a sudden, I had done a, a complete 180, and I was playing... A character much more like yourself. Much more like my real... My real personal self, yeah. of course, a manipulator, that is dangerous. a deceiver, and uh, a womanizer. Mm -hmm. So uh, this this was a little this was a little uh, created some apprehension for me is what I'm trying to say. And I and I have now taken out some of those qualities in the character. When I first played the character, you may recall, I think people were concerned everywhere that that the woman who had played played Jane Hathaway on the old Beverly Hillbillies was going to come and take her voice back. <laughs> because I, I was kind of Jethro, chief, all of this kind of, kind of thing, you know, and it required orthodontia and everything. It was ugly. Um, so I, you know, I slowly, slowly modified. But you remember when I first played the character, it's a little on the broad side. And Bob used to, to make fun of me because I couldn't kind of keep my body still. Right, right. yes. Come into a scene and I'd say... We all did, Peter. You didn't hear us, <laughs> but... <laughs> Everybody made fun of me. And I'd say, Dick, you handle yourself well out there. You seem quick on your seat. I, <laughs> I was impressed, and he said, well, really, Michael? I, you know, I had no idea, and so I, I, he does I got imitate encouragement. You very well. He does. Well, uh, it's been real, and we've had a, a tremendous time here tonight. We have. Being here on this other network, on this we've other had a good time. network, as opposed to the network we work on. Yes, we, have we won't a, mention. We, we, it's not worth mentioning. No. Well, it is. Well, you could probably now. find us anyway without us telling you the network. Yeah, but is this a hint? <laughs> Well, we had a lot of fun being on this one. Thanks so for thanks. having us. Yeah, we really, we mean it. We appreciate it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.